What's good YouTube, Slayja here, and welcome back to our 7 Days to Die playthrough. Alright. Hello guys, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. It is the morning of day 6. Today we need to get our little horde quote unquote base set up. So we should be doing that today. Overnight I also crafted up some forged iron and as you can see in my inventory I have a bunch of random stuff because overnight I was just kind of craft uh not crafting I was scavenging looting all the other rooms underneath and stuff so like this floor down below I almost got that one completely knocked out so uh we're looking looking pretty good so yeah, today, obviously, we need to get our horde, quote-unquote, base situated. Alright, let's go ahead and eat our can of sham for, uh, for breakfast. Delicious. And we also found a new wrench. I'm just gonna keep it just in case this one breaks. Um, oh yeah. And then we also have to craft another pickaxe because ours broke from all the mining that we did yesterday boom I don't know why I did that I actually need to be up there but luckily we have an elevator I was thinking um, that I can put like the fours like the letter the numbers of each floor on the wall opposite so if you get in and you quickly turn around you can see like one two three four whatever I don't know maybe I'll do that maybe I won't um, oh yeah I also put in some actual windows right here makes it look a lot nicer I did the bedroom as well and then I also did the just the front area right here these two little windows okay so in order to get our horde base situated we're gonna need iron bars again I'm thinking hmm. yeah let's do four we're gonna be a lot more secure this time so should be able to hold us Right. Yeah, another thing we're also going to do today is go ahead and craft up the workbench that we just learned. So in order to do that, where do we go again for this? Is it here? Yeah. Alright, we need 25 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, 1 wrench, 1 hammer, 50 wood. Okay, not bad. Pretty, pretty doable. The thing that's going to take us a while to get is these mechanical parts. I have been wrenching down what I can so far for them, but I think I only have like, yeah, I have two. So, something for us to look out for. I know that lockers and those um, spinning chairs give them, so... There's, a, there's more things, obviously, but those give them at, like, a decent rate. Alright, let's check out this horde base that I'm planning over here. So instead of going out across, like, a dummy with no support, I'm just going to do it in this corner. Hopefully the zombies will just be right here because we'll be out a little bit. But, um, let's get some frames. Alright, so... Keep them from going under right here. I think we should break that. Let's also equip this. Alright, let's go ahead and yeah. Fill this little block in so they don't try to go in this corner. Just 
just gonna do it twice. Okay. And then from here, I wanna go, let's see if we're gonna do three. I think we can go, yeah, if we're gonna do four, let's go one, two, Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Okay, so my plan is to put the reinforced bars in the middle and then be able to shoot down. I think that's gonna work, hopefully. I mean, I'm worried, obviously, that we're gonna have a flashback of what happened over here and then it's just gonna break this edge and crumble, but... I also feel like it's not quite far enough to do that, so. Uh, let's try it out. I also wanna break through here so these guys come straight to me instead of going uh, through the passing gas the whole night. Oh yeah, I could definitely see them getting stuck in here. Let's go ahead and fill this up. I'm not even going to upgrade it. I'm just going to fill it in. doesn't look too bad. The real moment of truth here is when we grab our <laughs> our iron uh, bars and place them and pray that we don't have a flashback. That's crazy that we've lived here for six days and have not touched that shopping cart. Okay, so obviously how we're going to get up is we're just going to climb up before the horde starts. We'll climb up here. And I'm thinking we just have to get rid of this ladder overall or else they're going to try to climb up it the whole time. And that would ruin my whole plan of being able to at least fight them because... Yeah, there'd be no way to fight them up here. They just overrun us, but uh, I think I'm just gonna break the ladder right before Horde Night starts. All right, so moment of truth here. Let's go ahead and rotate these. That's good. And Nice. All right, so Horde Knight starts. We'll stand here. We can face our back directly east so that the zombies come from this direction. And we will just stock up on arrows, which is another, another thing that we need to do um, today or tomorrow morning. So yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, sit here, shoot them with arrows. That's at least something instead of sitting up, waiting the night out, you know? Do these give mechanical parts? Can't remember. They do. Three in total. 17 to go. All right, we have 
good amount of clay. We need to get some more iron and also some plant fibers. So we Okay, we got about 500 plant fibers now. Let's the uh, next thing that we need to get is more feathers because I'm pretty pretty sure I'm out, yeah. I have 26, which is not nearly enough. And then I also think that we should mine up some more stone just in case. Man, it's so flat right there. I bet you that's like a city or something. Something's got to be there. Ow. I got attacked by a cactus. Help. Oh, nice. Got 10 skill points now. And there's a zombie right here. Uh oh. Stunned but not infected. Nice. Jeez, you are... Why are you so tanky? How many hits does it take? Pretty sure we can wrench these down for mechanical parts. Alright. Oh, oh, we got two from that. Nice. I'm not gonna wrench that other one all the way down. It's just gonna break. I feel like it gives you mechanical parts, but only if, if it's like in perfect or near perfect state. Maybe I'm wrong though. Oh, well that wrench is no good. Didn't get any mechanical parts off of that car, so I guess it's not a guaranteed thing, but that's okay. Did we ever look at this one? Oh, we did. I just thought about something, which is pretty funny, but filing cabinets, pretty much you get one from each filing cabinet. I don't know how many filing cabinets are probably in where we live, so I think we'll be good. I'm just checking out every other, uh, all the other places first. I know these chairs give you a decent amount, or at least one. Yeah, one. Oh, we just got two from that filing cabinet. That's pretty crazy. All right, we have 10 in our inventory. We also did get an engine for a mini bike and some other goodies. All right, we are looking better up to about 94% for both. Um, what else do we need to do? Yeah, so we have 13 mechanical parts. Let's see if we can get seven from this first floor or something. Oh, well. See, I knew there was like another kitchen area that was way bigger. Look at this. This is the spot. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna get all the goodies in here. Start with these chairs. Two from that chair. Not bad. All right, we got five in total now. Six. All right, we pretty much got what we need. It is officially nighttime. Let's make our way up to safety and let's craft this workbench up. Workbench, 25 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, wrench, claw hammer, and wood. Okay, all right, we got our workbench. I'm thinking we are going to place it right there. Sweet. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Alright, so that is going to open up so much for us now. I mean, we're able to craft the mini bike from here on out. I'm pretty sure we can also, once we learn, start to craft steel and you know ammo and everything so uh, this is a really good addition to our survival and not too bad on day seven you know to get this is pr pretty solid pretty solid all right guys that pretty much does it for this episode i hope you enjoy i will catch you in the next one for horde night